What's good YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. Today we're gonna make this address sign placard house marker number whatever you want to call it. If you want to see how I made it stick around. Here I'm measuring and cutting for the dimensions of the piece where the numbers are going to sit upon and I'm cutting that to the correct dimensions. After I cut that piece I cut a piece of gum cherry for the main backer board. Here I am with my jointing sled, jointing one edge, and after I joint one edge, I move my table saw fence over and cut the piece of gum cherry to the side that I want. I put the jointed edge on the, on the uh, table saw fence side and then cut to length. After I cut to length, I send the wood through the planer just to flatten the surface and make it smooth. And then I cut to the final dimensions. After I cut to the final dimensions, I drew a line out off camera of just a curved top edge and then I'm following my line roughly and cutting out the curved top on the bandsaw. After I cut out the curved top on the bandsaw, I refine the shape a little bit on the disc sander just to make it a little more smooth. I use the disc sander and the belt sander just to make sure I get all of the pieces flat or curved depending on which side I'm working on. I decided to paint the one backer white, so I took the piece of pine and used an exterior latex paint to paint that white. This piece got two coats of paint, and that was enough to make this stand out. After the paint is put on to the backer piece. I cut out the numbers that are going to go on this house address sign. I put some spray adhesive on them and after they get spray adhesive they go on to another piece of pine that I will be cutting out. Here I am trimming the excess off of each of the pieces. And then once I get the excess trimmed off, I take the numbers to the scroll saw and I start scrolling. If only I had the ability to speed up the scroll saw process in real time like I do have the ability to do that in video form. That would save a lot of time and make my life a whole lot easier. With speeding up this portion of the video I was able to take 25 minutes of scrolling down to about 45 seconds. I think they call that efficiency of time. I take the freshly scrolled numbers over to the sander just to 
even out and smooth out some of the rough edges and, and faces. This project has quite a few small pieces to it that require sanding along the way. After I use the belt sander to sand away the, most, the majority of the material, I just do some final hand sanding. Here we are taking the templates off of the numbers. A little heat gun deactivates that spray adhesive and they come right off. Now we need to spray paint the numbers. I used some Rust-Oleum black spray paint and I gave these numbers two coats. One on camera, one off camera. Here I am laying out my lines for the white backer that we previously worked on. This is where my white backer is going to put onto the gum cherry backer. We're going to have kind of a 3D effect with the gum cherry being the back section, then another section of the painted pine and then the numbers will be on top of that. You'll see how this starts to come together in just a few moments. I clamp up the white pine backer to the gum cherry backer and let that sit overnight so the glue can dry. The clamps get taken off of the piece and we can move on. I decide to spray the whole entire piece with spar urethane and I attach the numbers that I lost the footage of with some CA glue. After I attach all of that I go ahead and hand sand just to make sure it's smooth. And then here I'm marking for the holes that need to go into the bottom so this can sit in the ground. My drill press was too small so I couldn't use my drill press to bore the holes so I went to use my drill and I got the holes started in both of them. Once I got the hole started, I realized that my battery died. So I put the battery on the charger, put in a new battery, and I have a full charge. And I can finish making the holes for where the rebar is going to go so I can sit in, so this sign can sit in the ground. I went ahead and finished drilling the holes off camera. Here I am putting some tape down so I can epoxy the rebar into the holes uh, so it'll stick. And there it is put together. Here's another shot out in the yard. This is in my yard. It's, this is not where it's going to sit because our address is not 376. This project is on my honeydew list and it's been on there for quite a while. So the fact that I got to somebody else's project before my own, it's not unusual, but I should probably should probably get that taken care of. This build was a lot of fun 
and there were a lot of little parts to it that I didn't realize. It took a little while, but once I figured out the design and once I figured out how to make it happen, the project really did go quite smoothly, and I, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. This build was quite a bit of fun. This is going to a friend that's not my actual house address number. If you like the video, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that bell so you never miss another video, and we'll see you next time.